The Dominican Republic is full of beautiful beaches, which no doubt are some of the best in the Caribbean and attract visitors from all around the world. However, I won't be making this the prime focus in this documentary, as just recently I launched another documentary called The 15 Best Beaches of the Dominican Republic, so feel free to also check that one out. The Dominican Republic is known to have the most diverse topography for a single nation in the Caribbean region where you can go from a sandy beach to a cool mountainous town 500 meters above sea level in less than three hours. The country's coastline is over 1600 kilometers in total with hundreds of accessible and breathtaking beaches. More surprisingly, DR is surrounded by a series of grand mountain ranges of which the most important is the Cordillera Central which is home to the Caribbean's highest peak, Pico Duarte, sitting at 3,087 meters. With 25% of the land consisting of protected areas, most of which are easily accessed, there are a myriad of reasons to venture off the beach. You can explore lush valleys, cloud forests, national parks on and offshore, rivers leading to waterfalls, offshore caves where turtles nest, ancient Taino caves shrouded in thick rainforest or pine forests with near zero degree temperatures. Discover natural wonders like Lago Enriquillo, a saltwater lake so large it surpasses the size of Manhattan and it is home to American crocodiles and it sits at 40 meters below sea level, the lowest point in the Caribbean. The country boasts of a whopping 6,000 species of different flora and 7,000 species of fauna including cacti flowers, endemic hawks and humpback whales plus 300 bird species. Let's begin with the national parks. The Dominican Republic preserves 29 national parks located all around the country from the southwest to the north, east and center. Near the areas of Punta Cana, La Romana and Bahiba, visit the Cotubanama National Park or another name for it, Parco Nacional del Este. This is home to some impressive Taino caves and freshwater springs. The park includes the offshore island of Saona, the most important turtle nesting site in the DR, and Catalina, important coral reefs and bird colonies. Off the coast of Samana, Los Haitises National Park is one of the most breathtaking sites in this country. On land, large Taino caves reveal century-old petroglyphs and pictographs. The park can be reached by boat from Samana or by road from Sabana de la Mar, which makes for an even more unique adventure. Venturing northwest will lead you to the desert-like landscape of Monte Cristi National Park, home to El Moro, a limestone mesa towering over 200 meters over the Atlantic Ocean, and residents call it the Table Mountain. The park also includes a set of seven offshore cayas that are among the most pristine and least visited in the DR. Near 
Harabakoa and Constanza, in the mountainous center of the country, the two parks, Jose Armando Bermudas National Park and Jose del Carmen Ramirez National Park, are home to the majestic roof of the DR in the Caribbean. And that is the 3,087 meter tall Pico Duarte. Those who venture southwest will have the reward of visiting Haragua National Park, the largest of the DR's national parks, boasting UNESCO Biosphere Reserve status for its multiple ecosystems ranging from dry forest to cacti, home to the rhinoceros and records iguanas, approximately 400 species of flora, 130 species of birds, turtle nesting beaches and flamingos. With a multitude of mountain ranges, many rivers flow down the DR's beautiful plains. The most significant river is Yaca del Norte, born out of the De Cordillera Central, which starts from Pica Duarte and extends a whopping 300 kilometers downstream. Besides providing fresh water for irrigation and farming, the river is also part of the Cibao Valley's main attractions. Visitors go rafting down its rapids from the town of Jarabacoa. The second most significant river is the Yuna, formed in the central Cibao Valley and emptying in the Bay of Samana. One of the most beautiful waterways in DR is the Rio Chabon in La Romana, where you can hop on boat rides to see its magnificence up close or kayak your way around. Rio Chabon's claim to fame includes an appearance in the feature film Apocalypse Now. If you're heading southwest, you'll be greeted with an array of choices. Rivers are the main attraction in the Barahona province. Make stops off the main highway to enjoy the fresh emerald pools and cascades at San Rafael and Los Patos rivers natural recreational parks set where the rivers meet the sea. Rivers lead to waterfalls and in the DR there are plenty, whether well known or off the beaten track. The most visited waterfalls in the country are the 27 Chacos de Damahagua in the Puerto Plata province. This thrilling series of cascades tumble over a rocky landscape emptying into deep pools that travelers can jump into or take slides when such opportunities present themselves. El Limon Waterfall in Samana ranks amongst the most impressive of all of the ones in DR, rising 30 meters above the base pool and it can be reached after a nice horseback ride through subtropical forest. In Harabacoa, waterfalls are a major activity, with Salto Baiguata and Salto Himenoa, featuring in the opening scene of the Hollywood motion picture Jurassic Park. The Dominican Republic can be proud of its postcard-perfect offshore islands 
which lie off the coast of the country, both in the Caribbean Sea and in the Atlantic Ocean. The most stunning of these are Saona and Catalina, two of three plots reached by boat from the eastern fishing village of Bayahiba, starting 19 kilometers offshore. Part of a protected national park, the partially inhabited Isle Saona counts multiple white sand beaches. The island's waters are popular with experienced divers who come here to explore shipwrecks and caves. Up north, Cayo Arena, or Paradise Island, is a tiny kaya that resembles a sandbank, located just eight kilometers off the shore of Punta Rusia. It attracts hundreds of tourists eager to spend the day out in the middle of the stunning turquoise sea and explore colorful fish and corals. A set of seven isles, Chaos Siete Hermanos, are reached by boat from the shores of Monte Cristi in the DR's wild northwest. These protected plots are where colonies of egrets, pelicans and frigate birds thrive. In addition to offering some of the most pristine snorkeling and diving locations in the DR. In the desert-like dry southwest of Dominican Republic, there's a surprising landscape of smooth sandy hills, of which some are as high as 35 meters. These are the sand dunes of Bani, a protected site located in the village of Las Calderas, just outside the town of Bani itself. If you climb to the summit of the tallest dune, then the white sand player Las Salinas appears on one side also well known for its powerful surf waves, while the other reveals the stunning bay of Las Salinas. There are intriguing lakes in the Dominican Republic. The most unexpected is Lago Enriquillo, stretching across two provinces in the southwest, Independencia and Bajo Ruco. Lake Enriquillo is a mix of fresh and salt water and sits 30 meters below the sea level, the lowest point in the Caribbean. It's home to multiple bird species as well as American crocodiles. Over the years, the lake's water level has risen dramatically, which makes for an unforgettable sight. Laguna Grigri on the north coast is nearest the resort towns of Cabrera and Rio San Juan. Dense mangrove tunnels occupy its part fresh and part salty waters, while hundreds of black turkey vultures and egrets are perched in the mangrove trees.
There are also plenty of lagoons of the swimming kind to enjoy. In Punta Cana, one of these lagoons is the Indigenous Eyes Ecological Reserve, a 1,500-acre natural forest offering easy trails to a series of 12 freshwater sub-lagoons. Laguna Dudu in the northern town of Cabrera consists of a series of cobalt blue and turquoise freshwater pools flowing from caves and surrounded by tropical forest. This recreational park also offers kayaking, swimming or you can brave a 25 foot leap from a makeshift zip line into the giant lagoon at your own risk. From north to south, the DR is flanked by five big mountain ranges and provides sources of fresh water to the territory at large and protection from major storms. The largest and the most important mountain range is often described as DR's spine, the Cordillera Central, stretching across the centre of the country from the border with Haiti onto Constanza, Jarabacoa and the central region. It is home to Pica Duarte, as well as two additional summits that rank amongst the top five highest peaks in the Caribbean region. This is the most rugged and coldest mountain landscape you'll find in DR. Another name for it is the Dominican Alps. The second largest range is the Sierra de Bajoruco in the southwest region, running parallel at an elevation of about 1500 meters. Nearby, the Sierra de Neiba hides Taino caves and freshwater springs. Porta Plata, the Cordillera Septentrional stretches from Monte Cristi to Nagua at over 500 meters. Lastly, the Cordillera Oriental, 
on the eastern side of the Diyan rises at under 800 meters. The country's first inhabitants, the Tainos, left behind numerous traces and signs of their presence. The majority of these are found in the areas where they once lived, near sources of water and in caves where they performed rituals. Petroglyphs and pictographs can be observed in these caverns located around the DR. The Kutubanama National Park at the entrance of the village of Boca de Yuma is home to some of the most impressive caves including Cueva de Berna where Taino faces are carved into the rocks. Nearby in the Punta Cana area, the recreational skate park was developed around a natural series of caves hugged by rainforest, one of which you can swim in. The southwest of the DR is a cave enthusiast destination. El Pomier in San Cristobal has an impressive 55 caves with the highest number of petroglyphs. Las Caritas de los Indios in the Enriquillo area reveals pictographs in a cave located above sea level. One of the most mystical is Cueva de la Virgen in Barahona, where the local legend says that a woman spirit inhabits the chambers and can turn visitors into stone. Up north, the province of Hato Mayor is home to the rugged Cueva Fanfan, Fan, tucked deep in the rainforest which is a partially wet underground cave. In the southeast near Santo Domingo and La Romana, Two of the DR's most beautiful caves are easily accessed via footbridges. Tres Ojos National Park with its crystal blue lagoons and Cuevas de la Maravillas, an 800 meter cave system etched with pictographs. Fans of easily reached and swimmable sinkholes will definitely enjoy Hoyo Azul, convenient to the Punta Cana resort area. At nearly 15 meters deep, its blue shaded pool makes for a refreshing swim surrounded with rainforest. Also on the ground is Cenota Indigena Las Ondas a deep pool enclosed in an underground cavern. <laughs> 